Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see SAP MM Purchase Requisition. So the agenda of this session is Overview of Purchase Requisition, Types of Purchase Requisition, How to Create Purchase Requisition and Purchase Order. So let's start with Overview of Purchase Requisition. Suppose if you want to buy a material from a vendor, so you will be needing permission from the purchase organization authorities. So you will create an internal document that is termed as Purchase Requisition. So it is a request that is made to purchasing organization to procure a certain list of material. Purchase requisition is an internal document. It remains within your organization. Now next is types of purchase requisition. You can create purchase requisition for the following procurement type. First one is standard. That means getting finished material from the vendor. Next is subcontracting. This means you are providing raw material to the vendor and you are taking the finished goods back. Now next is consignment. This means procuring material that is kept in your company's premises and paying to vendor according to your consumption. Now next is stock transfer. This means getting material from within the organization. Now next is external services. This means getting services like maintenance from third party. Now next is how to create purchase requisition and purchase order. To create purchase requisition, transaction code is ME51N. And if you want to create a purchase order from purchase requisition, the transaction code is ME21N. So let's do these functions practically. To create purchase requisition, enter transaction code ME51N in command field. This will navigate you to purchase requisition creation screen. Or else you can navigate via SAP menu. So we'll just go back to the home page. In SAP menu, select Logistics. Select Materials Management. Select Purchasing. Now select Purchase Requisition. Select ME51N Create. This is Purchase Requisition screen. This is purchase requisition type that is for standard it is NB. Now in item overview you need to enter your details. You need to enter your material for which you are procuring. Quantity. Your unit of measure of quantity. Expected delivery date for your material. Plant. Storage location and your destination vendor from which you are procuring the material. So I am entering test data here. Once your purchase requisition details are complete, click on save. Purchase requisition is created generating a purchase requisition number. Now once purchase requisition is created, we will create purchase order that is a formal document that is sent to vendor from this purchase requisition. So to create purchase order, go to same transaction code ME21N. This is purchase order screen. Now in item overview, find the field for purchase requisition. Here you need to enter your purchase requisition number. I am entering my test data here. After entering purchase requisition number, press enter. It will fetch all details from your purchase requisition regarding material, plant, vendor, your company code. Once your purchase order is populated with purchase requisition data, click on save. Purchase order will be created generating a purchase order number. So in this session we learned how to create purchase requisition and how to create purchase order from purchase requisition. In next session we will see how to post requirement for quotation to vendor.